This is The Party with Serene and Pearl. Get it right, P-O-D-D-Y. Party people! It's the Trim Healthy Podcast with Serene Pearl and I'm Danny. And what's up, world? That was great, Dan. I I really feel like you had, you pulled that off because there was no self-consciousness. Yeah. If you're going to hold a long note like that, you, 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 (laughs) If you, you, be little, if, self, if you put a little self-conscious there at 75% in on that note, it'll fail. Yeah. Lean in, baby. How yeah. are you though, Dan Dan? You know, I'm okay. Um, I do prefer summer. Mm. I do prefer intense heat. Because you brought a house with a pool. I got <laughs> a house what? with a pool. No, you know, I still swim. Do you really? Freezing in the cold? cold? Yeah. Well, it's, it's like a cold plunge for you. It's cold plunge. Is your pool chlorine? It is. Yeah. Why can't you fix that? I it's I could because I can't come over and, and have I'm a pool gonna, party until you. Yeah, it. it's getting an upgrade. Is it? It's just yeah. this is first year. Yeah. And um, but yeah, the the fault like I actually you can like, do copper though. You don't have to do the the salt. You can do copper. Oh, because the salt can even turn into its own kind of chlorine in the end. But really? so they'll mix copper into the water. I have friends that do have a copper pool. Now yeah. that sounds super healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Because copper, like people wear their copper amulets yeah, and stuff. Yeah. You remember, you know, you know, you guys oh, remember I, John. I know such stuff. You guys yeah. remember John Gusty? We right? do remember John um, Gusty. He John. he wears copper as a yes. health yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, copper bracelets are a thing. Do you believe that copper on the body is helpful, like magnets and crystals? They say it helps, like with uh, nausea, don't they, for pregnancy? A certain copper bracelets. I'm all about it. Whatever I believe could be true. <laughs> yeah, but I'll tell you what. I went to this hippie, that's, that's hippie, great... dippy health food store in New Mexico where my husband grew up, and they're all just like dreadlocks. <laughs> they live in teepees. And I walked yes. in, and I'm like, does this have sugar in it? She's like, it, it doesn't if you don't want it to. <laughs> it's like whatever you think, basically, whatever you think. You guys are like summing so up. on the spaceship You're side. summarizing my religion. <laughs> this is, li- I'm putting that in my bio. It's going to say... Like, you know, people have like something that quintessentially captures them in their Mm -hmm. bio. Like, I'm not a clownfish. I saw this one bio. It was the weirdest one ever. Um, But mine should be whatever I believe could be true. Yeah. That's your life. That's what if you could. That's great. So it's not summer. So are you like in in a bit of a depresso? You know what? This is the first year as an adult that I am not seasonally depressed. Wow. Well, what are you what are you embracing, you know, the winter now and I think I've had some major breakthroughs in my life and I think it's come because of suffering. Well, suffering does kind yeah. of I, I, grow yeah. us up. Like I feel so what resilient. What suffering have you been doing lately, Dan? Just just family in internal uh, outside of yeah. not immediate family, just yeah. center on family just just think just generational things that are like coming to a head yeah. and we're saying like no more. I love yeah. that. It's really good. Yeah, it's like, like even subtle stuff. Yeah. Like everybody like like even the best of us, like we we yeah. play everybody likes to play happy. Yeah. I was driving down the road the other day and this neighbor waved at me. We were having a family feud in the van. And a neighbor waves and all of us got right into character. <laughs> It was disgusting. Yeah, but what else no, are you going to do? do? Just, Just like give them keep the a finger bad as you face? Pass? I should have given him the finger. I should have rolled the window down and been like, it's hell in here. <laughs> this isn't easy. That's what I should have done. <laughs> yeah, that's How was your day? Is Horrible. Such, it's just that the world is such a horrible place because everyone's like... I know, I'm like, glad you did it. Well, I thought you meant to fake it till you make it like your whole... Yeah, you, what, you, if you, you could? No, what if you No, there's could? a balance here. There is a, there is a contrasting balance, a yin and a yang. Because... I don't know, Dan. No, I'm all for I'm the all emotions for, that are redeemed. But here's not the, the thing. Let's privately fake it till we make it. You're not meant to feel your anger. I think sometimes you're meant to release it. No. They say, they've actually done study. Who is they? I don't know. I can't quote <laughs> them anymore. But I did have it quoted, quotable at one stage in my life. The Weeble Wills. That, those people that try and release it, like I had to release my anger through kickboxing and through all that. They don't. They get angrier. You yeah. can't defuse anger by doing angry movements. What do you, you do? You defuse anger by putting it off and putting on. Like the Bible says, put off. So deep breaths. Put off Peace. the junk and put on his fruits of the spirit. And so you can but only you, get rid of stuff what, by taking what, you it know, off. In our whole, whole I'm That Girl book, we talked about trying to fix our old selves right. But our old selves, according to the scriptures, are dead. Why fix the stinky carcass? Put yeah. on the new. 
I mean, and, and for me, honestly, I, I fail at that a Haven't lot. Haven't you seen those? But when I do it, I'm like, why was I a stinky carcassing pearl all yeah. day yesterday fixing that stink? Why don't I just put on the new me, which is the mind of Christ? Right. And I used to go through that crossroad too because I'd be at home with all the littles and they were all, I did the cloth diapers, you know, and there was like maggots forming in the cloth diapers that, that I didn't get yeah. to, you know, like because life was busy and all that. And then the, the husband comes home. Hold on, Shady's like, what she talking about? <laughs> he never did cloth diapers. No, I'm just saying not all the time. Maybe like once a year you would leave it too long and there'd be the, you know, you'd, you'd have to I don't you know, know, sterilize I the diapers and hang you, them out you, in the sun you for a week. You were cloth diaper people. We rocked cloth yeah. for, yeah, for a season. Yeah, you have to when you got no money. Got no but money. But listen. Washing um, diapers. So, and then you get to the crossroads. The hubby walks in the door and you, you think – it's really going to be the most truthful thing if I unload everything, all the crap that I've been going through in the day, right? It'd be the, and he would understand me then. And then, and we'd be like intellectually honest and there would be a real communication between the two of us. Yeah. I tried that out for style. Yeah. And then the rest of the night is as dumb as the day was, right? So yeah. I found that when I would just decide I don't have to vomit, to the new person in the room that walks in, you know, yeah. we can just move on from here and make make these hours better. It always works better. Yeah, newsflash, your spouse does not want you to vomit your, your woes on them. Have you been in the grocery store and you walk around the aisle and all your, you, you just happen to smile at the person who's in the same tomato can aisle, you know? And they look back at you like you're the, the, you're the reason they're going through so much suffering, you know? <laughs> so I'm glad you smiled and all your family... You know, in line, smile at that passerby. Because even though the, you were having the, a terrible road. time in that, and I'm speaking to myself here, a terrible time in your van. I mean, you're going through stuff. Still, the fact that you were going through stuff together and the fact that you had all your children and they're healthy and that you're an intact husband and wife and they're there and sure, they're messing with you, but they love you. And, um, and that you're breaking generational curses and mm, generational yeah. habits. Kind of something to celebrate too though, right? Yeah, I think one day. Yeah. I think one day Why I'll look now? back. Yeah. I was thinking that yesterday as as the uh as Lucifer's fork was in my <laughs> rectum. <laughs> I thought How one day How old are your teen boys? Well, my eighteen year old is down oh, at you university. Have an 18. Oh, they're roostering, Danny. It's a part hey, no, of the No, he's life. off at university. Oh, yeah. you do then the, I have a you 16. do the normal American life. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is very Oh, that's nice. But we do have to get to some questions. But okay. I'm just saying, when you have teenage boys, they do something that Serena and I called roostering. Mm. It's roostering? a very important part of their life. What is yeah. it? Where dad, they have to find that balance between I have a man over me, but I'm also becoming a man. Oh, right? yeah. And we call yeah. it roostering. Yeah. yeah, where they buck up. I mean, they got to find their feet. Yeah, yeah. They also no, got to g- learn respect. I'm, there's a there's a balance and it's hard. I'm good with that. I Yeah, I'm, I'm good with roosters. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, there's, there's, uh, some girls rooster too. <laughs> oh yeah. I've got a couple hens, <laughs> some henage. <sighs> uh, but yeah, no, all is well. I just think that, you know, the generation before me seemed to play family a lot and and seem to have the the public appearance of all as well like everybody's Yeah, hiding. there was a lot of stuff swept on the rug down. Yeah, yeah, we all want like we're terrified to be unhappy and we don't want anyone to think that we're not having a good time and that we're not yeah. successful. Yeah. And- I hear what you're saying. I think there should be open communication and I don't believe anyone should play healthy. I think they should um plan on healthy by um do healthy. But uh, by by keeping everything very unpussy, you know, and yeah. uninfected and open. I believe in open communication, but yeah. I do believe in, in in you going against your whole uh, natural foundation of your what you've been thinking for the last decade. You do have to do a little play happy in the fact that we should get up every day and put on a happy smile, whether we feel it or not, because yeah. our body responds to that play. Our yeah. body responds to that. Um, you know, that signal. And I just feel like we should never be so realist that we be real to our ugly flesh. Well, and that is, so like that is what I'm trying to give my immediate family for starters is like, hey guys, like your wants, your individual wants can sabotage your relationships with the people that matter most in your life. Instead, let's wake up and play happy. 
let's play like we have all of our needs met and we don't need what sister has and we don't need old big brother to give us the respect we think we need like let's let all of that go and you know the minute a, a big thing i'm telling them is like the minute you're feeling a negative emotion you know you're wrong you're going wrong your body That's is true. saying warning you're you're thinking wrong let's get back over here so negative emotions aren't aren't bad you know like i don't think that we have to ignore negative emotions i think they're warning signs for yeah. us to we go just i don't think we them. squelch them i think we yeah. let them pass observe them i mean observe oh, no, that, I that's observe negative it. No, I don't I know. observe them. I, I do something I know. with them. I get rid of them. Because before, yeah. I didn't know they were negative. I thought they yeah. were part of me. Right. But we and don't now, observe them and leave them there. No. Yeah. But now I know. I'm, I'm, I have knowledge to observe. Well, Pearl, that's negative. That's harmful for you. And it's actually not the true you. Right. Uh, so that's the way I observe. Well, that's the imagery of uh, like personifying the devil, mm -hmm. right? Having, having a character is a really good image that there is something b coming at you getting trying to get put on you mm -hmm. you actually don't have to own uh depression and anxiety mm -hmm. and terrible thoughts you, you, it doesn't have to be you you don't see, have look, to be yeah see we're yourself. also we always it. once yeah. again and us three we're always like on opposite sides but we're saying the same thing but i mean i know that you're saying well, let's not squelch and suppress things and pretend there's not stuff that needs to come up, right? And I don't think Serene's saying that either because no. I, I will speak for you, Serene. I know so that if you her. think you and Sam have to get something out in the open air, you won't even let him sleep. You're I'll like, we'll be water. up all night. Oh, you'll keep him up. We'll be oh, up all good. night, husband. And just, just a good, <laughs> nice cold glass of water. Yeah. <laughs> he tries to sleep. He's not gonna have sleep. You wa have you cold watered him? Oh, yeah, and he's cold watered me. <laughs> that's, how, that's, that's the way we roll. Do you know about this, Arden? Uh, Arden knows about it. That's the way we raise our children. Have you done your wife this way? Hey, they all got cold water, those She'll children. She'll whoop your butt. I know your wife. <laughs> you won't dare. Oh, you've both done it See, to each got, other. See, he, he got raised with it because We're very he knows open right. communication. In fact, if our family feels like we're getting stinky, it's like time for family council. Like, we'll sit down and do a family 101. Like, so, so no if, one's going anywhere and everything's canceled and we're all coming home. So if sitting Sam, kumbaya. if Sa that's totally what, and that's what yeah. I'm doing right now yeah. is I'm just like, oh, everybody wants to like crap on your family and then you want to go hang out with your friends tonight. Yeah. It's like, heck no. Uh, <laughs> so Sam will fall asleep though. Yeah. And you will take a glass <laughs> Of tap, or will you chill it with ice? <laughs> like, how cold do we get? Uh, it just it depends. If it needs some chilling, I might doctor it up. You might chill it a bit, yeah. like your cold heart, as you wake him up from no, his it's slumber. It's a warm heart because they're going to get it sorted. Yeah. So you're no, you're getting him up because you you want to sort it. Oh yeah, it's like you don't let the 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 sun go down. Yeah, right? there you go. So okay, so the sun. So she's not squelching or suppressing. That not happen with Serene. So so your kids are asleep. The yeah. family's asleep and yeah. you and you've cold watered Sam back to earth. <laughs> yeah. He's he's left his moon therapy. He's back he didn't on earth. didn't even mean to go to sleep. We both have a heart to solve things, but sometimes if he hits his head on the pillow, he's snoring. But that snoring's not a good that's not good music what, to hear. What is his reaction as he wakes up with cold water? <laughs> I want to know that face? too. Does oh, he no. feel like it's due? Yeah, he feels like it's due. We have this. We have this understanding that we solve things before we go to bed. So he doesn't fly into a rage. He's never flying into a rage. That's, yeah. oh, and that's not, not Sam. Him. He's yeah, but it's not. He doesn't like. It doesn't activate his anger. Is my point. No, no he's just like okay. I yeah. I asked for that. He accepts it. He grew up in a ho home of no oh. communication. None. So he kind of appreciates None. his being family forced. his his parents stayed together. They were they were um loyal and faithful and there was no mm. no sadness in that area. Yes. Um but they stayed together for the children and there was they lost they lost love. But they weren't And they they didn't communicate. They, they were co-workers. They weren't. Well, they just uh, they just I don't even know if they're co-workers. They just stayed in the same house. Yeah, yeah. And roommates. They, they just I don't even know about that. But the point is, is that they just let bitter things, bitterness in them yeah. uh, and, and lack of communication keep them apart. That's real talk. And so uh, he said to me when we first got married, the thing I'm afraid of mostly is if we lose communication. <gasps> so he's not going to be afraid if I throw water on him. Okay. He, he'll know I'm keeping to my end of the bargain that we're going to be a marriage that communicates. That is so great. And who threw the water first in the relationship? <laughs> Well, see, um, water is not I a bad... I know it was you, but I just want to hear you say it. <laughs> he might have, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no Can't remember. But water's not a bad thing for us because we actually have fun with water, too. We do a lot of water fighting. 
Yeah. If, oh, yeah. They want to know about the water no, park. It's not. <laughs> yeah, it's know. not. But the thing is, is water that. Water play. No, but if I even try and start water or fight, or the children, he'll always end it. Like even two months later, he'll hold his moment. Yeah. Oh, for and, practical and water. So, yeah. when, so you fell asleep. He splashed you as well. What's your reaction? Oh, I'm fine too. We got to get this thing solved. So you'll wake up like, oh, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I can't fall asleep. We're not. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Charlie yeah. and I have never done the water thing, but yeah. we have oh. sat up most of the night yeah. a few times. Would you try? What would you try the water? I wouldn't. To? It's not our deal. Yeah. <laughs> Serena and Sam are a little more. Uh, but it works for them. A little more storybook. Like that yeah, works in little, the Disney they're, movie. They're, they're, yeah. No, they're kind of movie. movie yeah. Peeps. Yeah. Like he splashes her with the yeah. water, and she's like. <gasps> and she gets up, and she's like, "What are you thinking?" And Sam's like, I love you this much. Uh, yeah. And yeah. she's like, what? And she like wipes a tear. And it's beautiful. Now, we have done the falling to sleep thing, though. And, and it's me. I'll wake, I'll wake him up. Oh, but so you'll wake him up. He and would say, let me sleep because he's kinder. He has better love for me. But I'm like, we got to solve this. And to him, it's already solved. See, Usually his is solved way before mine is solved. Maybe I'm having a bad habit because I'm like, just go to bed. And then in the morning, I'm like, hi, will you marry me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'll do that. I've done that a lot. Like, I'm just like, just shh, shh, go to sleep. Because, like, we're insane at midnight. We're still going. Like, no one's sane that late. Like, don't let the sun go down. I think they mean before the sun goes down. Because when the sun goes down, you're insane. It's not don't fall asleep. I think the sun matters because you still have some brain cells that are that is so unique communicating for each, for each couple. So you know? fun. But you know, we're 18 minutes in. Should we go to the topic? I mean, y'all asked about fall and how I was doing. No, we didn't. It's not fall. It's winter. Bird. You're falling, Danny. It's okay. It's still fall for me. I, it feels fall. Okay, that's hilarious. Fall was if you are a ago. woman, fall happens well before fall happens. Okay, Y'all are you drunk start on wearing fall. your cardigans. You start and fall ordering summer lattes at the end of summer. Then when Ooh. fall actually hits, it's done. Oh, I mean, really? it's the beginning of, it's the end of summer. That's well, the true fall feeling. Because well, the leaves are falling for about a week. I have a Christmas yeah. tree in my home already. Like, I mean, on. you know, we're definitely kind of New Year-ish. I mean, I don't know when this is going to actually drop this pod. But you do winter. This is the way a woman does it. You I believe. train you in the seasons, Dan. You do. Yes, this is what you need to know. Okay. You do fall well before fall. Then once fall is here, fall is over. Because fall is too quick starting anyways, in winter. So you always have to get a good head start. Yeah. Then okay. you're doing winter cozy things. Then winter reality sets in and you're just like, oh, no, I'm not about that anymore. <laughs> so you start new year well before the new year. Yeah. Right? And, then, and then new year, well, you're really about the spring because summer's, you know, the warm weather's coming, right? I wonder if women actually bring the seasons. I think we do. Think yeah, y'all start like generating the seasons. Yes, they don't happen without do you, us do you because we feel them into being. Do, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you decorate into being as well? Uh, do we do Christmas? You start I, rocking. You know what we're doing for the first time this year? What? I'm about to invest money, Benjamins. Benjamin's people yeah. into Christmas decorations. Oh, like, yes, because you got the Frank House. I don't know when this potty drops. Maybe this potty would drop after Chrissy. The inflatables, are you? No. Oh. Those aren't Christmas decorations. They are disgusting. Those are nightmarish. Are hellscapes. you going to be like the guy stringing a thousand lights on his house? I might go. You can uh, have the gun. Yeah, I might go. Uh, what's his name? Walt. Walt? Not Walt. Uh, yeah. Griswold. Griswold. I might go Clark W. Griswold. Just because we've done no nothing. Hey, but do you know what? I don't know when this potty drops. It might be January sometime. So we need to get, yeah, who knows? We can't now. I don't know. Could. Ship it tonight. Uh, let's get to some questions. I, there was a whole, we get so many questions that I never even share. And I feel sorry for the questions sitting we there. We could just call, still be going on the marriage, man. I know. So Go true. That's how I felt when I used to write in questions to places. <laughs> Thanks. They're, they're Thank like, you, uh, Dan Dan. Just checking out the furniture. Um, One second. I know, and, you, and I feel sorry for people because some some of you write in and your questions never get asked here because then we go on rants. You oh, okay. Know? And Let's then, ask the questions. Okay. Listen, I'll answer the questions today. A How bunch about of that? hormone questions, then, Dan. Yeah, I got it. Do you really think you will? I'm first. Um. Okay. 
Oh, as a thyroid one, and this one includes your name. I don't know why they think that you know anything the heck about thyroid. But you know I know them. more than you hey, think. Hey, Pearl, Serene, and Danny love the potty. Yep. My blood work for thyroid always comes back normal, yet I seem to have a harder time than many with healthy weight. I'm fatigued a lot. Any tips on what to do? Supplements, different tests. Cindy, go yeah. for it, Dan. No, this is easy. This is an easy one. Um, I don't know your blood type, so I'm not going to be that specific. Burr. Um, however, I'm just going to say that uh, go to bed earlier. Burr. I'm going to say hydrate and Burr. you need to exercise more Burr. and your energy mm-hmm. levels will go up. So Burr. that's kind of why you're not in charge of this podcast. Uh, <laughs> Cindy, so many women. The one thing that makes me more mad is what things like that. <laughs> what know. he'd say, just exercise yeah. more. Just go that's to what, bed That's early. what doctors say. <laughs> oh my goodness. So many women, their thyroid comes back normal and it's very far from normal. Guess why? There's two tests that most physicians take. If any woman or man, but it's rare for a man. Woman outdo men, and I think it's like a 500% or I don't know how much it is, but it's several hundred percent with thyroid issues than men. Men tend to keep steadier thyroids. Women, we're very prone Which to Which is why I should be answering this question. Hypothyroidism. My thyroids are superior. <laughs> So, and it's a lot of it's to do with our sex hormones. It's all intertwined or I, I don't know why, but um, most physicians, they just check a T4 mm-hmm. and they check a TSH. Now, why does this show us absolutely nothing? It will show you something if you have extreme hypothyroidism where your TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone, and it's not Theory. a thyroid hormone. It comes from your pituitary. If it's above four, and, and if it's above range, it means you have a serious thyroid issue because your pituitary is literally raising its voice and yelling to your body, make more But thyroid. that's like to the point of thyroid storm and yeah, stuff like that. So what about all the problems? What about anything if you're under four? So everything under that is going to be put as normal. You're normal. You're normal because they're not checking the reverse. But then T3. they check T4, and T3. which is your inactive thyroid hormone. It does no thyroid heavy lifting at all, zero. It's just sitting there waiting to convert into T3, which is your active thyroid hormone. But if you're not converting any, and you probably are not, if you're feeling stink. Because conversion is the biggest problem for most of us women. So if you're not checking what you're converting, and then you're not checking the, which is T3, and if you're not checking the reverse T3, which means the things that can put T3 Mm -hmm. in chains, you don't know what's happening. You don't. I feel like you guys rephrased what I said. Yeah, for sure. We did. Yeah. So, so many women are saying, well, your thyroid looks normal. That's it. End of story. Exercise more. Go to bed earlier. But can you see why we're mad at you now, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> so, I would, Cindy, I would get some more tests done. And here's what I would do. You can test your TSH and your T4, sure. But you really need to test your free T3. That's your most important thyroid hormone to test. And if it is below 3.5... Really, it's not giving you what you need. And so you might want to talk to a physician about optimizing that with some natural thyroid hormones, Mm. desiccated thyroid hormones, or pure T3 if needed. I would also check your reverse T3, as Serene said. Those are the two most important things. And the reverse T3 should be under a pearl. What would you say? Well, optimally 12 12 or under. But Mm -hmm. some, you know, thyroid specialists, they say anything below 15, you're kind of okay. I have seen hundreds and hundreds of thyroid labs women send them to me and one thing i've noticed when women get into perimenopausal menopausal territory Mm -hmm. their reverse t3 starts going up starts going up into the high teens or into the 20s when that happens it means it's like a bouncer it's standing outside of your cells and saying your thyroid you ain't going in there yeah sorry you, know, you can stay out, out of the party. Like a bounce at the night. Yeah, reverse yeah. T3 is like a bouncer. And women get more of it as they get more insulin resistant. Why are they getting more insulin resistant? Their sex hormones are going down and their muscles are declining. Mm. I actually had higher reverse T3 three yeah. years ago. Before, before strength I, training. Before I strength train and before I optimize my thyroid hormones. Now my T, reverse T3 is beautiful. It's perfect. And I'm not insulin resistant. Reverse T3 goes up with insulin resistance. It comes down with with insulin insulin sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So, um, Cindy, you said supplements. What should you take? If you need hormones, thyroid hormones, you need thyroid hormones, right? right? But if you're young, if you're a younger woman. But even some younger women need the real thing. True. But if you're... If your thyroid just looks a little out, but not too bad, you could do selenium, um, Mm -hmm. zinc, 
Make sure your D, your vitamin D is optimized. What about some glandulars? Sometimes thyroid glandulars Mm -hmm. are absolutely helpful for women without too much of a thyroid issue. Are you addressing thyroid hormones with your upcoming programs? Oh, you bet we are, baby. We're going to do it right. There is... Is there an ETA on that release date? Uh, Probably in the new year, but so many, even with thyroid specialists, there's there's so many different takes on how to Mm -hmm. do it. You know, and Serene and I really immersed ourselves in this in the last year. We have our own thyroids really jolly optimized. And the only way I can think of, you know, when we talk to uh, the the founder of our Trim Healthy Medical with us, Dr. K Chandler, um, she she does things right with thyroid. Mm And Serena and I were optimizing, like, here's how we got optimized Dr. K. It's kind of different from what a lot of people do. What do you think of it? And she was like, that's it. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm doing. And it's working. And so um, we kind of have a unique program with Trim Healthy, what we're going to launch in the new year. But if you're not, you know, if you don't want to do our program with your doctor right now, you want to be taking um, instead of just T4, which is like Synthroid. And I'm not a doctor. I'm just mm-hmm. saying what I found from personal experience and looking at a lot of labs. Some people on T4 and still have terrible thyroid symptoms. Yeah, so T4 is like Synthroid, your basic thyroid medication. And it can't be shooting their reverse T3 up. Yeah, all it's giving you is more T4, which what's that doing? T4 is inactive, has to convert. So how is that really helping you? Mm. Usually, Usually it's not. So a natural desiccated thyroid, which is like either your Armour or your NP, that's giving you some T3, which your body needs, as well as T4. So it's giving you a little bit of both. And some people need more T3 even than that. Mm. And so it depends upon labs and upon the person. I hope that helps, Cindy. Get those tests done and don't take no for an answer. Don't yeah. take normal for an answer. And if your doctor is not going to oblige, go find another one. Yeah. You really need a doctor who's going to really understand that you know the normal levels are not necessarily normal michelle says can you discuss testosterone pallet therapy on a potty <laughs> okay testosterone therapy pallet for, for pallet men? therapy oh, pallet woman? Therapy. Are we she just here? said yeah let's do it both let's do both. I, I feel like testosterone pallets oh pallets like are, insertable yeah. pallets. Yeah, they insert pallets. them in the glute is it up the hip oh, on the, the hip yeah. yeah and so what's really i think sad about pellet therapy is it doesn't take into consideration everybody's different with the way they metabolize hormones some people are fast metabolizers which means you get this pellet and it could be metabolized and used up in two weeks and then you've got the rest of your three months and you're crashed so you get this real high peak and then you get this crash other people they don't metabolize them very much at all and they stay like too high it's not really a nice sweet spot it's kind of a bit of a roller coaster for people depends on your and metabolism. sometimes with women it can they usually pump it up way too high and they don't know how to balance estrogen well in so that they palettes. make sure you feel those effects which i'm learning is a is a real thing that doctor, I've been working with doctors on different projects and they actually really want people to feel effects. Yeah, because it keeps them coming back. So here's yeah. what I want to say on palate therapy. There are pros. Pros, let's list them. I'm not against, I know many people Simple. that love their palate therapy. The pros are it's bioidentical. Mm-hmm. It's giving your body the hormones it needs and naturally makes on its Our mother own. is on palates. Yeah. We want to switch it to our program eventually. Yeah. But she's been she, doing that for almost 20 it years. It was the only way that was feasible for her. She lives out in the country. She only wanted to go in once, yeah. a, once a trot, you know, once. And I know a woman, things it does well. It does give you quite substantial amounts of testosterone. Mm-hmm. Um, woman... On the whole, sometimes they feel aggressive. Sometimes they get acne. Sometimes with too much testosterone. Sometimes they even get weight gain. But sometimes if you're lacking in testosterone, as most of us are in perimenopause, and we know we are in menopause, when we get that back, we feel like we're living again. Mm. We feel passion again. We feel energy again. We feel libido again. We feel like we can make a decision. Right. Um, I've noticed that as one of the, the earliest signs coming back is I yeah. finally can, can think, like make decisions. Yeah, so I'm not t- so testosterone like- is huge for us women. We actually have it, more of it in our bodies than estrogen. But the problem I see sometimes with pellets, and I'm not against them, I think they can work for mm-hmm. some people, but you just got to be careful, is that usually the testosterone will be a lot higher mm-hmm. than our most important hormone, which is estrogen. 
And so we don't have that beautiful balance. Yeah. And we, we always like estrogen to, to reign queen. Yeah. We believe it's the, you know. Even though we have a lot of testosterone yes. in our body, estrogen is our primary hormone for our, for our, um, our brain. And it's anabolic for our muscles. And it's a great libido hormone it, as well. Yeah, without estrogen as the foundation, sometimes you can just feel an aggressive libido. Yeah. A woman's libido needs that beautiful foundation of estrogen mm-hmm. first. And is that, which is the more natural one? Estradiol? The I mean, both. They're both. They're both. Estradiol. Estradiol. Yeah. Versus what's the other one? Well, well this, Premarin is yeah. the horse estrogen. Most, most um, hormone replacement therapy these days is done with natural estradiol. estradiol. Okay. I mean, I don't know too many doctors that give women horse estrogen anymore. There are mm-hmm. a few, but mm-hmm. why? Why would yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, but so with <laughs> yeah. pellets. But we've noticed, you know, our brothers were all on pellets for a while and our, and our father. My and, husband was on for 10 years. And, and our, our family line were fast metabolizers. So they felt great for two weeks and crap for the well, rest. Well, with my, with my husband... Um, yeah, he was on for a long time. In the end, his body rejected them, but that's not very common. He got several infections, but that's not common. Rejected meaning the body would just like push it yeah, out. Yeah, his body started pushing out the pellets. It's so weird. Um, I do have to say, though, I always dreaded end of month two to month three, crash and burn Charlie. Oh, I, I don't. My husband, he has a microadenoma in his, in his brain that causes um, uh, more prolactin. And that can lower T. So we found this out when he was 50. So he's been on um, testosterone placement for 17 years now. So he doesn't do well without his testosterone personality-wise. Yeah, he does shots. He gives himself shots? Yeah, he does. That's man stuff right yeah, there. Yeah, no, no, no I it's give easy. myself a shot for estrogen twice a week. It's fantastic. Love is, its guts. Is that, how, is that what women are doing? No, well, they do creams. Creams. Yeah. Some of them do shots. Depends what, what you want. But okay. all that to say with my husband, month three without his tea, because he would, it would spike and he'd actually feel pretty good when it spiked. Then it would lower. And, and he, for a month, I'm like, where's my husband? Where's my husband? He's just sitting there in the corner grumpy, you know? So for him, it wasn't great. Um, but so he's much more kind of just even keel with shots. So what do we think of, what do we think of pellets? They can work for some. Yeah, it's way better to have hormones than not to have hormones. Mm-hmm. But be careful. Because a lot of doctors that do pellets do not understand the crucial need we women have for estrogen, for our brain protection, for our bone protection, for our heart protection. And testosterone can't be what estrogen is. Mm. They're both unique and they're both important. Right. And if you notice you're thickening around the middle at all, your testosterone might yeah. be too high for you. Yeah. So that you need that estradiol to, to, to sensitize you. Pearl, are you doing shots as well? I'm not doing shots. I am doing a mucosal cream. Okay. Yeah. Um... Considering shots in my future at some point, if I want to go back to having a cycle like Serena, I'm kind of considering I was very happy not to have a cycle once I went into menopause, but there are benefits, there are pros and cons, so we'll see. That feels uh, scientific. Yeah, it is. Hey, we got some more. What are we, 34 minutes? This is a good one, Serene. Yeah. Does BHRT or bioidentical hormone replacement therapy cause weight gain? Menopause is not my friend. And the BHRT I'm doing, she says it's Glow Naturals. Sure, what that is. seems to be causing weight gain. Not seeking medical advice. Just curious how THM should be adjusted because going, because I'm going in the wrong direction. This is from Elizabeth. Huh. Scientifically, it can it, there can be some water weight gain until you find your sweet spot. There can be just like a woman on her cycle can um, gain a lot of water. Um, certain times in the cycle and there's going to be some bloating issues until you find your sweet spot. But you but you, overall scientifically will balance out and lose weight because you're more insulin sensitive. Yeah, Dr. Kay Chandler who founded, you know, our Trim Healthy Medical your muscle, you program get more muscle with us. Mass yeah. because of testosterone. You get more muscle mass because of estrogen. They're both anabolic hormones. And so, you know, with, between insulin sensitivity and the more anabolic uh, triggers that are happening in your body, you'll be able to keep your yeah. lean muscle mass. You should be able to lean out. But Dr. K showed you and I, Serene, so so many incidences of when women and told us about them, their A O N C starts out high, like yeah. maybe even pre diabetic, mm-hmm. like five point five, right. five point six. Mm-hmm. By the end of one year, it usually takes about a year 
of hormone replacement therapy with adequate estradiol, that's yes. your estrogen hormone, mm. it comes down back into oh, beautiful yeah. range. It happened to me. Yeah. It actually mm. happened to me. So I, my A1C was always beautiful right up until I went to menopause. Yes. And then I got insulin resistant mm. from lack of estrogen. I, and I, then I put it back and I'm beautiful again. I, I just want to know that maybe her bioidentical hormone replacement therapy isn't adequate. Well, that's what I'm saying. Because you yeah. still might be real. Re, you still might be dealing with menopausal weight gain. Well, so many people say they're doing BHRT, but there are, it's like THM. There are a million ways to do THM. Yeah, they're you covering a little bit of bias, some you, light little cream. You, and- you could do THM and just be eating kind of like cheesecake stuff and, yeah. you know, your big cheesy omelet in the morning and, you know, your cheeseburger pie at night. Mm. And it's one way of doing THM, but it's not the ultimate way, right? right? right. So with BHRT, you, like Serene you said, need you to get could... blood work and see proper numbers you, at certain levels. If your estradiol levels on blood work are not coming back around 100, you're probably too low to get that insulin sensitivity. I mean, 100 is the, the fall off, I think. Like anything yeah. below 100, you're not doing enough for insulin sensitivity. Well, we're just going by research. Yeah. What it says. And it says also that your brain protection doesn't really start to 100 either. A, a lot of people put on these little slap on these little bias creams from Amazon or even prescribe. They're yeah. so light. They're not getting above 40. They still stay the in estrogen. menopausal territory. I've seen hundreds of blood work and these women are on bhrt and their estradiol levels come back and they're still in the 20s serene mm-hmm. they're yeah. they're barely they're not they're still menopausal so still you're going to have weight gain why because menopause is still giving you weight gain the other thing is is if your testosterone to estrogen is imbalanced right you are getting more anabolic. Maybe you are gaining muscle. That's good. Yes. So you, you might be going up on the scale. because. But maybe muscle. you also don't have insulin sensitivity because not enough estrogen. Yes. So you're in a kind of, um, you are not balanced. But it's not necessarily like you're getting fat gain no. if you're getting prescribed hormones. But hormones don't really put fat on you. No, they, they don't. don't. So what do women need to be saying to their doctors to make sure they're getting like proper? They need blood work and they need to look at the numbers. Yeah. Oh, if they're once or on. If you're menopausal. You don't actually need blood work to start. No, but like you need to, if you're, cre- you're not, you're on therapy and you're not seeing yeah. your numbers, you need to see that, that your estrogen, your estradiol is over hundred. You need to see that your testosterone for exogenous testosterone, which means the, the, the hormone you, it's not naturally being made. The, the number look, needs to look a little higher than what it would which look is like. Follow up blood work. Follow up blood work. And you understand is the one. what you're looking the at. The testosterone yeah. should yeah. be over a hundred. The estradiol should be over. And we're 100. listen. We're not doctors. We're just talking about right. optimum numbers that we have um, talked to other doctors about. We're and, passing along this information. And where would you like to see their progesterone pearl? I mean, I mean, I for a, a postmenopausal woman, you want it above five. Mm-hmm. Um, five hundred. Five. 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 Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But for a perimenopause or a pre, you want it above 10 usually. Right. And then the others, you know, testosterone and estradiol, at least over 100, especially yeah, for estradiol. Es- yeah, especially. So um, so make sure you, if you say you're on BHRT, make sure. It's moving the needle. Yeah. And, um, and make sure your thyroid is optimized. Some yes. women do sex hormones and they neglect their thyroid and their reverse T3 is still high and their free T3 is still mm-hmm. low. So make sure you're doing that. you'll lose 40% of your thyroid function. When and just age itself, pulse. honestly, mm-hmm. means you need to get more wise about your diet. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. if you have all your hormones mm-hmm. in, in perfect you know, levels, even if you're doing all the strength training, but you're still having brevets every day. Yeah. So just be mindful of the density of your foods and, and have your lean protein. Maybe you have to get a bit leaner in your protein rather than super fatty protein in this season of your life. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at the camera the whole time because I think I'm talking to yeah. Michelle. Okay. I know. I, right now I'm talking to Elizabeth. Yeah. I felt like you sort of confessed that to me. Yeah, I know. I'll pardon you. Yeah, because you are the kind of the keeper of the camera. Yeah, um, these guys are getting antsy. They're sick of hormone questions. Yeah, but I feel it in the room. Well, like, do you feel it in the room? I feel it in the room. But I was like plugging in more. No, to the use the them. males are stirring. We have one, two, three, four, five males that are giving us the, kind of the, yeah. they're like vibes. going back to their own computer work. No, they're you know, stirring. They're like totally tuned out. What they're doing, they're trying to will us to close. Yeah, well, really? guess what? We're going to go a little longer <laughs> let's today. Let's take a little. Let's I've take. Tra- a, I've tried to warn them. I'm like, guys, don't don't do this. It's going to activate the the team to go longer. That's right. Next don't. question. Oh, yeah, I have it. This is a good one. Linda. The women are so rebellious. And it's you, about a hysterectomy, boys. You have boys. to get more chill. You have to yeah, leave. Yeah, spell that. Hysterectomy. <laughs> 
Smell that no, hysterectomy. Smell it. <laughs> I, I had, um, Linda said I had a complete hysterectomy 25 years ago. That means she got not only, guys, not only the uterus, the ovaries came out Spell too. Spell ovaries. Thank you. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, Linda says, I was on a synthetic patch for a few months and tore it off, never to apply again. Is it too late to start HRT all these years? I'm going to talk to you right now. Am it's I allowed to look at Linda? too late, but, 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 Linda. But first I want to help you, Linda. How old is she? I don't know, but obviously postmenopausal because she got her ovaries out. Yeah. As soon as you get your ovaries out, you're postmenopausal. Right. But she said, I was on a synthetic patch. No, you weren't. Because no patch is synthetic. No patch is synthetic. It was bioidentical. Yeah. So the only thing that is not bioidentical estrogen, there are two things, okay? It's what's in birth control. Yes. That's a synthetic estrogen. That's why birth control puts young women in menopause. Yeah. It's the worst And it takes away the their testosterone. Goodbye libido. <sighs> Goodbye muscle mass. Goodbye brain protection. Goodbye happy wife. Okay. The other thing is, um, is primarin, horse estrogen. Mm. Now, not many people prescribe it these days. Mm. So most of what you're going to get, if you're going to get a patch, if your doctor provides you with a patch, it's bioidentical. Yeah. Just be at peace about that, okay? Patches have pros and cons. Um, some people love them, but you, you got to – usually they have to be applied about twice a week, and some people just don't, don't get, get enough super, hormone super from them. high levels. It's hard to get enough hormone. You have to apply double patches sometimes to get above 100. And, and, and that's a minimum number. But, hey, if patches are all you can get – just be happy. Yeah, and they're FDA approved, so yeah. oftentimes insurance can cover. I, them, so I love that great. about them yeah. for people. Um, so she said, "Is it too late to start HRT after all these years?" Never Our too mom late. started in her what was it 70s? late sixties or early seventies? Early seventies, I'd say. Yeah, she's eighty three right yeah. now, still going so strong. Oh. Um, no, it is never too late. Mm -hmm. um, I just think all you need to do when you're starting out later is just to start low and slow. Mm -hmm. I'm not too low that you don't get the help. No. But you just don't want to go straight to like injections like me and getting yeah. you over into yeah, the Yeah, Serene has very high, high estrogen, but she thrives right there. I think women should know when they take hormone, bioidentical hormones, and, and we are obviously big believers because we're all we're talking about that, but why are we big believers? Y'all are hormoned up. We, it's not for just how we feel. I feel fabulous on hormones, but that's not why I take them. No. It's for protection and prevention. So some people in the first year, right, they really go through a rough time trying to get their hormones optimized when they first take them. There can be bleeding. It's very common. There can be breast tenderness. There can be a bit of weight gain back and forth until you kind of figure it all out. So and all they're that's like, okay. Yeah, they're like, that's oh like my goodness, hormones sign. are not for me. I was feeling yeah, so terrible okay. and I was moody and I felt like I was a teenager again. Yeah, you got your hormones <laughs> back, girl. Yes, but also like, Give it like a year. when you start exercising, you don't really see your bang for your buck yet. You don't really see the results. Yeah. You tear. You can't sit down on the toilet because you, your muscles you can't hurt. Sleep because so you're hurt so bad. You know you 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 don't have that natural energy from it yet because you're still not in shape. So you don't feel the mojo to get up and do it. It's a crappy time. I've been saying that too much. It's all right, Christian. I, Christian, I sort of Christian cursing, yeah. yeah. But it's a, it's a tough time. But we don't throw in the towel and say, "Oh, exercise is not for me." Sometimes we injure ourselves. We've pushed a little too hard. We don't say, "Oh, I'm just going to sit down on the couch now. Exercise is not for me." We're like, "No, I'm, I've got to find my groove. I've got to find my." Yeah, I see a lot of women. I'm on a lot of hormone Facebook groups, right? And a lot of women go there. I just couldn't do it. You know, hormones weren't for me. I felt terrible on hormones. I, I'm I'm like. First year is you're tweaking your baby. Yeah. I mean, you got to go through some stuff. When I first started hormones, I bled like crazy. I was like, what's happening? You know, breast tenderness, all that. It will resolve. You've got to be patient and work with a very knowledgeable practitioner. But here's why you do it. If you're going to do it, we don't force it on anyone. But the knowledge out there is just too strong now. And it's mm -hmm. coming out more and more every day. Every day now they are finding out what taking away estrogen from our bodies does to our brain mm -hmm. and it's not a nice thing and there is there any worry about uh, side effects of modern hormone replacement therapy modern it's 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 it's, it's just bioidentical, bioidentical. so it's like whatever your hormones did to you in your teenage years you know they could do now but too. I've, I've heard of you know, there's no cancer worry. There's no increase. No, that, that in, there's is, a cancer worry that? when you're not on the hormones. Yeah, anyone could get like if you're on hormones, you okay. like it's a preventative for it, many diseases, right? 
because it helps you process your blood sugar and all of that. But you can never say, oh, you're going hormones, you'll never get cancer. That would be ridiculous. Because there are but, young people that get cancer. But there cancer is a lower incidence, hormones. they've found out. Even lower incidence of breast okay. cancer. Okay, so the risks of not doing hormone replacement yes, therapy. That's yes, what I'm trying that's, to say. that's why we do it, because we don't want the bone. risks. Okay, I'm at the highest risk for bone mineral loss because I'm a thin white woman. Okay, so let's just say, after, after, of course I'm going to take my hormones. after menopause, what are the conditions that start occurring that don't occur before before menopause okay so osteoporosis do we have 30 year olds with osteoporosis no they've still got their hormones there it's post 50 right what do dementia dementia always happens in after menopause heart attacks they don't even bother women until post menopause and then it becomes their biggest killer actually women actually overtake men after menopause for yes heart it becomes the, the biggest killer and it's all you know post do the hip do the hip oh, babe. yes <laughs> Bo- bone bone breaks at the hip once they say usually there's, there's an adage that says break a hip you end up dying within a year basically so they because actually, they just on death certificates doesn't rhyme at sometimes all. they will listen adage does so, it have to rhyme I thought. I mean, you. Were, I thought you were teeing up a clear rhyme. Break a hip, lose your. Look, beep. So, so, a lot of times, sometimes they will list oh, a hip break, but usually it would be stroke, heart attack after the hip break. Why? After a hip break, you're laying on a hospital bed. Sarcopenia. Sarcopenia. Massive. All the blood clots are, you Break know, hip, all of that. What the grip. muscle protected you? The muscle as your as your immune system. So you're basically wasting all of that protection, like wasting away that muscle. Break a hip, you're gonna slip mm-hmm. into the grave. It's sad, but it's she very still tr- doesn't rhyme. No, it was like a haiku though. Brain. That was one of the ones. <laughs> the ending doesn't. It rhymes somewhere, but not at the end. But we're gonna give all these guys a break now. So I, I don't want to give them a break. Oh, you want to keep going? They need some <laughs> some training. We're forty eight minutes in. You know, it's well, like yeah. when my sons yes. would get weirded out about period, period pads because they're standing in the line with me, and I've got period pads with the oranges and the bananas. They get weirded out. I'm Oranges like, okay, you're taking over. I'm going to the car and I'd okay, make them. Part of like, Serene's boy training was yeah. all her boys had to learn to buy period pads. Because oh. it's like, hey, one day you're going to be buying them for your wife like and don't be weird. Yeah. So, you know, the Allison training, <laughs> tough camp. I always called Serene's house tough camp, but I did the same. I liked this training. It was for my boys Send too. them into yeah. the store to get the period you pads. You learn how to buy period pads. You learn how to say it without a weird giggle afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> you have to learn how to say ovary. You have to learn how to say all Will kinds of stuff. Say it without a weird giggle? Yeah. Why were they struggling? Like, I'd like some period pads. I don't want my boys to not know what a period is and not know wom- that women have them and not know it's normal and be able to talk about it. My boys are really good about Unless talking about periods like, and I love that. Unless they want to be that. like celibate for the rest of their life and just be an old monk. No, they're but they should know stuff. about women. Yeah. They should. Yeah, they're going really, to live with a woman. You guys have really broke me into conversation like this. I mean, I, I'm comfortable yeah, in you are. any Cousins room. would come to... Yes, you, you, you come I love to talk about women's stuff with you. Cousins would come to the door to her like 11-year-old boys and say, hey, you want to come play basketball? Well, that's, well, today I'm staying home because my mom's on her period and, and it's actually a little bit of a shorter cycle this day, 26 days. Uh, into no, it wasn't quite that much. <laughs> hey, we come a long way though because that first Foxy Mama podcast, yeah. I was over here like knitting. Just, I know, you wouldn't talk, but you would raise your hands sometimes. Not here. Yeah, I was just praising the Lord. Yeah, you were. Just giving God grace. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-